All right, so today, strength training. What you're going to need? You're going to need dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, go get some water bottles. You're going to need some form of resistance. We're going to continue our lesson with this muscle back here called your lat. And like last week, if you haven't done last week's workout, go back, how to improve your posture. We're going to be working on plating with our lats, which is holding our shoulder in place, right, to perform maximal ooh, rotation while holding what's called a stable shoulder girdle. So this whole thing is going to be stable. All right, a couple notes. Number one, if you cannot get on the floor, you need to take your little station and go to your bed or go get your massage table out because if you can't get on the floor, you're not going to be able to do this workout well. And if you don't have access to that, you got to stop, come back, and do the recording. Two, we are going to do a few exercises on our knees. So what we're going to do when we're on our knees is we're going to roll up our mats. If that is impossible, some people do have that much orthopedic pain, you can do the exercises on the wall. Quite literally, it's exactly the same as the floor, right? But my hands are on the wall. Okay, so quick review. You need dumbbells. Two, if you can't get on the floor at all, go ahead and get on your bed. Three, if you, the idea of getting on your knees bothers it, go ahead and use the wall. I'll say that again when we start the workout, okay? So with that, let's go ahead. We're going to start our workout. So neutral stance right here. Breathe. Now, toes are straight, knees are gently bent, hips are over. My, essentially, it's my ankles, and my shoulders are over my hips and I'm looking straight forward, okay? This is our neutral stance here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shrug up, and everything we do today is going to be to resist this sensation of coming up in the shoulders, but let's start with what we shouldn't do. So, shrug up here, now lift your chin, boom, you should feel all the pressure in the back of your neck, right? And release. So that's what we're gonna be avoiding today, is the up and I guess it's up with a chin, too. All right, so how we do that is we're going to be pulling our shoulder blades back and down. So let's go ahead and practice that right now. I'm going to show you from the side. So we're here. We're going to go back and down. And when you go back, you're actually squeezing them together, back and down. Now, back, keep going on your own pace, hand down. You'll notice when you go down, you have a hard time squeezing them together. That's okay, right? Back, squeeze them together. As they go down, they might come apart just a little bit. Back and down. And back and down. Now, you got to res res resist the temptation to do this. Flare the rib cage and get them further back. Don't do that. Just back and down. Good. Back and down. Good. And just repeat that. We want to really lock that in, okay? And release. Okay, let's bring our hands out to the sides. Tiger palm, it looks like this. Right, it's good for the fingers, and your hands are going to come out. We're going to do so shoulder circles forward. I'm going to return to this exercise towards the end of the workout. Pay attention to the difference, okay? I'll tell you the difference right now is one, I'm out here, but by the end, we're going to be holding our shoulders down with our lats. That's called plating, putting your shoulder socket on the plate. That is your back muscle. I didn't make that term up. I don't know where it came from, though. Probably Russia. <laughs> That's where all the good sports science comes from. Do, 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 do. Good. You should feel a little burn in the shoulder blades. Totally normal. Okay, and relax. Shake it out. Let's go circles. Relax. At no point today should you feel it in your neck. If you feel it in your neck, you need to focus a little bit more to make sure your neck stays relaxed, okay? All right, little side bends. So I'm reaching down right here, right? It's like I'm reaching in my pockets. Those cargo shorts all the way down. I don't know if people still wear those. <laughs> Maybe. Dun, 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 dun. Good. Now we're going to go like the front, like we're shaving our legs with a really awkward razor all the way here. Good. And we're coming back. And we're coming back, shaving the back of our legs. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to step out into straddle, two stride lengths apart. I want to move quickly for the warm ups today, folks. We've got a lot to go through. And I'm going to be twisting, okay? This is our Qi Gong or Tai Chi twist. Haven't done this much with you guys, but. We're moving on up the ladder. We're getting more advanced. Notice my hips are not rotating. A lot of the, most of the rotation is coming from my rib cage, and my hands are as follows. Touching the hip bone, touching my opposite butt cheek. Touch, 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 right? Touch, touch, and I'm twisting. Good, 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 good. 
I'm going to do a little bit of hip stretching on the floor, but we're not going to do that much because it is technically an upper body day, and we really want to focus on learning how to plate our lats. Round two. We're going to be using the weights, though. It's going to make a little more sense. Okay? So from here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to pivot. See, I'm lifting my heel, and this hip is coming forward. Boom. Pivot. Now, if that's too much with the arms, just you can just keep your arms relaxed or neutral. I like to actually, boom, emphasize the twist. Boom. This is good for martial arts, in case you care. <laughs> Boom, swinging, 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 pop, pop, pop. Good. Now we're going to go with full internal rotation. Let's go slow. See, I'm pivoting on my toe, pivoting. And in boxing, we call this turning the heel over. I want to turn that heel over, right? Notice I'm shifting my weight into the opposite leg, right? I'm coming to the right leg. Twisting the left leg, coming to the left leg, twisting the right leg, boom. And if you're more advanced, you can actually, yeah, use the hands, same hands. Good. Breathe, 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 breathe. Inhale. Good. Twisty, twist. Twisty, twist. Twisty, twist. And three, two, and relax. Shake it out. All right, grab your dumbbells. Keep them close. We're just going to put them by our, <laughs> we're going to put them by ourselves. We're going to put them next to us so we don't have to, venture out. We can get on the floor. So once we get on the floor, we can stay on the floor, okay? Here we go. How do we get on the floor, everybody know? Bend your knees, right? Dropping the hands down. Touch the mat. Crawl. Get your weight in your hands. Weight in your hands. Weight in your hands. Nice. Okay, this is called quadruped. We call it crawl, okay? So from here, from quadruped, we're going to roll. What I like to do is I get down on my forearms. It's called sphinx. And then from sphinx, I go thread the needle Boom, rolling onto the side. Yes, I overthink all movements. <laughs> That's right, folks. Or I like to analyze them thoroughly. Overthinking has negative connotations. All right, so we're going to come into this position, one of our classic positions, if you don't know our core exercises. So let's go ahead, stretch out the lower back, stretch out the legs just a little bit here, and then we will move into the upper body. So grab both legs. This is cradle. Now, I've changed cradles so you grab underneath your knees, okay? It's very commonly taught over the knees. I don't necessarily like that because you're pulling on your patellas. You do possibly get more flexion, but if you look, I get the same amount of flexion. I just got to try a little harder, okay? And if you notice, I'm doing little baby circles right here, getting that joint in my back where my pelvis meets my sacrum. Uh, the SI joint, you may have heard of it. <laughs> and relax. Good. All right. So from here, let's go ahead and cross our right ankle to left knee. This is pretzel. Now, I used to teach it. Grab the knee, pull it in, but now we slide our hand through our leg, interlace our fingers, and hug into the chest. Okay? We're done pulling on the kneecaps, folks. We are done pulling on the kneecaps. And if you're more advanced, you can actually sit up Lock your elbow through and hug it all the way in for the self-love pretzel. <laughs> hug yourself, pretzel. This is a good stretch. Okay, now you're going to take the wedge right between your thumb and your index finger. Boom. Here, I'm going to put my thumb on my hip crease. Other wedge, thumb on my hip crease. I'm going to push this hip down. Now, this actually gets a little space between my... Well, actually, it gets a lot of space between my ribs and my pelvis, but then also actually in my hip socket, I'm getting a little bit of space. Okay, breathe. And we're going to do some mobility. So here, pretzel, no hands, open, pretzel, open, good, breathing. Very nice. It's working it slow, opening that hip up. Okay, let's cross. Last one for the hips right here. So, look, we used to do this. Grab the knee. Now we're not. We're going to sit up. This hand right here, right hand is going to swim through. I'm going to grab. I'm going to pull in. Mmm. Such a better stretch. And I'm actually more relaxed. The, s the power of science, folks. Okay, breathing. Good. Nice. Okay, now we're going to take the wedge right here, put it on, our thumbs on the hip crease, push that hip 
This is called distraction. So my pelvis is getting space between my ribs. My spine is lengthening. My hip is getting just a little bit of space. You don't want a lot of space in your hip socket. That would be a dislocation. I'm sure dislocating your hip is horrible. <laughs> I wish that upon no one. Okay, a little bit of mobility here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, and release. All right, so we're going to blast through our review of last class, okay? So last class, we started right here with our fingers to the ceilings, okay? And what we worked on is this muscle underneath my armpit, I'm going to be essentially contracting it by driving my shoulder down and towards my hip, and you should feel it flex. And we had tried with body weight, right? If I don't feel it flex, I can take this hand, and I can actually push my wrist into the back of my hand, boom, and I'm I'm, you should feel this muscle contracting, right? Aha, so now today I'm going to show you this is a different way to get it. This is, this is a passive activation, the weight's going to do it for me. I'm going to grab my weight like this, okay? I'm going to hold it. Weight's in my right hand straight up. Now I'm going to take my left hand right here. I'm going to grab underneath, and you're going to feel this lat right here. Now what happens is keep your shoulder down and start to raise the weight. I'm going to look at it. Overhead, right? And as soon as you get however many degrees that is, get out the uh, odometer. That's the thing you measure. You'll feel this muscle contracting. Oh, okay. Now, commonly people let this shoulder creep up. That's the whole point, not to let it creep up. So don't let it creep up, okay, here. I actually plate too much. It's kind of funny. Um, here, good. And then you'll be able to feel it more and more as you come overhead. So once you get all the way out here in this pseudo straight arm hold, you're going to feel this muscle all the way activated, okay, and then coming back up. So we're going to try to recreate that contraction without going overhead. So here, feel that muscle. Boom. Okay. It's contracted. Feel it. Good. Relax. Contract it. Good. Relax. Contract it. Good. Relax. Contract it. We're going to call that plating, right? So plate and relax and plate and relax and plate and relax and just keep doing that. If you don't feel it right, go back over here. Boom. Okay. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that good. Good, 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 good. All right, other arm. So let's do without the weight first. Conveniently located on my stomach. All right, so my hands up, opposite hands up. Here, I'm gonna plate, pulling my shoulder away from my ear. Let's say I don't feel it. I'm gonna take this hand. I like my new snapping thing. I took that from my coach. All right, so here, coming in, wrist to the back of the hand. Boom, plating, making this seal. Isometric tension. Do 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 do. Hold. Let's say I don't feel it. Right. So grab your weight. Okay. Take your right arm, put it underneath your left armpit, hold, and now you're going to, I guess it'd be a, I don't know, it's technically flexing your shoulder. Over your head, you should feel this muscle firing up, right? Feel it. Mm, okay, I feel it contracting. I'll feel it. I'm holding it. Contract, 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 contract. Okay, lock in. Now try to get that contraction without going overhead. So I'm here. I'm holding it. Good. I'm holding it. Good. I'm holding it. Good. And release. Okay, we got it. Let's, we're going to activate the muscles a little bit more. So grab both weights here. Bring it in. Okay, I want you to squeeze them together. Now look, shoulder blades away from the ears. My neck is relaxed. I'm going to go overhead, inhaling as I go overhead. Pause, hold for five seconds. Five, feel your lat muscles. Four, right? Three, two, hold. Now come up relatively fast. Boom. Okay, we're going to repeat that five times. That's one. Here we go. Overhead, breathe in. Good. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, hold. Five. Really feel those muscles underneath your armpits. Four, three, two, and coming back up. You might be wondering, should I do those strange pulses with my shoulders? I would not do them unless you don't feel it in the back of your armpits. Okay, here we go. Breathe in. Inhale. I'll show you without those. Hold. Exhale. Hold. See how my shoulders away from my ears? Good, 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 good. And coming back up, that's three. Here we go. Breathe in, inhale, and exhale, overhead. Reach, 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 reach. Hold. Hold five seconds, exhaling, good. Feel those muscles in the back of your arms, folks. Feel them, feel them, feel them. Coming back up. Here we go. Last set, best set on these. Breathe in, inhale. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, hold, hold. Now, if you're more advanced, separate the weights. Woo, shaking. And all the way back up and relax. Nice job. Good. Okay. 
I'm going to show you a little different way to, to, to work on your plating is we're actually going to bridge up. We're, we're going to scoop our hips up, not Pilates bridge. I'm coming to athletic bridge, okay? From athletic bridge, I'm going to extend my hands this way, right? See how my shoulders are, away from, are up by my ears? Push them down. Now continue to push your hands down. Boom. And you want to flex underneath your armpits. I'm going to go all the way to the floor. Boom. This is kind of like a yoga bridge. Have you guys seen yogis do that one? Okay, coming back up. Now let's say I didn't feel it. Let's try it again. Here we go. Pushing down into the invisible universe here. Pushing down, pushing down. Good. Coming back up. Are you actually bending matter when you push? I don't know. All right, so let's say I didn't feel it. So I'm going to take my right arm, put it underneath my left armpit. And I'm going to push down my left arm. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. You got to make that contraction, folks. All right, other side right here. Right arm here. We go push down, push down, push down, push down, push down. So the bridge allows me to go a little further. Here we go. Both arms breathe in. Inhale. Exhale. Push, 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 push. Flex and release. Yeehaw. All right, folks. We got, we got a couple more exercises here before we move into the next phase. So what we're going to work now is these are all mostly ice. Well, they're not. We're going to start working how to plate my lats while unlocking the shoulder blades. And this is called protracting. It is insanely common for people to reach up and let this shoulder drag up towards the ear. That could be one of the worst things to do. So I'm here, I'm plating. As I reach up, I want to keep plating, okay? You're like, coach, how could I possibly do that? Well, let me show you. So here, grab your weight, bring it up, okay? Come over the head just a little bit. So you have this. Keep that tight. Take your left hand, poke it. Now start sending this weight up. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. Feel that muscle. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Good and down. So now return it to a more safe position. Plate really hard. Coming up. Press, press, protract, 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 protract. Push, 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 push. And releasing down. Let's do that two more times right here. Flex. Get that muscle underneath. If you don't feel it, come overhead just a smidge. That's an actual scientific term. Here you go. Breathe in. Exhale. Protract, 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 protract. Nice. And back down one more. I'm going to come to this position here. Protract, breathe in. And exhale, lift, 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 hold. And release. Whew. Yeah, you guys are doing good. All right, here. A couple more. We get a break. Come on. Here we go. Plate. Right? And reach as you're plating, reach as you're plating, reach as you're plating, reach as you're plating. Project, project. And down. Let's say didn't feel it. Come overhead a few degrees. Breathe in. And exhale, project, 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 project and release. By now, you've probably figured out that if this hurts your shoulder, it's better to do this position. <laughs> okay, overhead, I don't think it hurts in the shoulder, though. Breathe in, and protract, 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 protract. Ah! Good. Back down. Coming into neutral position, breathe in. Plate, and press, 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 and recover. Okay, last one, folks. I'm going to give you two options <laughs> as I struggle to find the weight. Okay, first option, beginner level. Here, Plate, breathe in, protract, protract, protract while plating both arms, okay, and release. Breathe in, exhale, plate, and reach, 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 and release. Now, more advanced version. I'm going to protract. I'm going to plate. I'm going to protract, and as I'm protracting, I'm going to crunch up, crunch, 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 hold, 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 down, 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 down. Coach, I feel it in my neck. Well, don't lift your neck up then. Breathe in, plate. Reach and plate, 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 plate. Back of the arms, 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 back of the arms. Hold and down, 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 down. Okay, one more. We're gonna break. Here we go. Breathe in. Plate and reach, 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 reach. Up, 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 up. Hold. More advanced. Go overhead for the hollow. Oh, and relaxing back down. Nice work. Okay, go ahead. Get water. That requires us standing up. I know. So look, I'm going to roll to my side, sleeper, right? Pushing up into mermaid from mermaid, swinging through into sphinx, sphinx into crawl, crawl into bear, bear into downward dog, walk the hands forward, fold, and roll up. Hey, we got a complete system. All right, go ahead and get some water. I got to do that. And we're live. All right. Hopefully you got some water. Up next is plating while, eh, whatever, I'm not going to use the science terms, but we're going to be on our knees. If not, you're going to be on the wall, okay? So here, forward fold, walk the hands forward, 
Okay, hands and knees. So from here, this is where we make our money, okay? So we're going to be right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plate with my hands on the ground, okay? If you notice, the other positions, our hands were in the air. Now our hands are on the ground, look, and plate. So when I teach people to do this, don't arch your back here, plate, plate, and just keep doing that a bazillion times. I wish I learned this when I was 20, okay? So plate and hold, okay? Now we're going to start to experiment with some leg lifts. While plating, I'm going to shift my weight to my right knee and lift my leg up, kind of like a bird dog. You'll feel where which hand is most of the weight in. It's mostly on my left hand, right? That's just natural. Plate that arm. Plate that right arm. Plate, 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 plate. Hold. I'm keeping this lever short. I'm keeping the knee bent so I can just focus on my arms. Okay. Release. Here we go. Plate. And switching arms. Plate, 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 plate. Hold, 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 hold. And hold. Sorry, and release. All right. So I like to teach this as sticky hands. So it's like my hands are getting stuck. Wah, sticky hands, right? Okay. Here we go. Sticky hands, plating. Shift all the way into your right knee. Keep plating, keep plating, keep plating. Left leg comes full extension bird dog. Okay. Now from here, from bird dog, right, my left leg is out. Take your right arm and reach over to your left elbow. Slide this arm up. up slide your hand up the arm. Is this muscle turned on? Plate. Plate. <laughs> plate. Good, 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 good. Coming in. Release and child's pose. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. If you're doing it right, you should be should be getting a good workout, okay? Here we go. Coming in. Neutral. Plate. Shift all the way into my left knee. Right leg comes out. Hold. Where's all the weight? So my right arm. Plate. Okay. Plating. Take your left hand. Grab your right elbow. Slide your left hand up underneath your right arm. Do you feel yourself plating? Am I plating? Am I plating? Am I plating? Good, and release. <sighs> okay, shake it out. If it bothers your knees, that's what you do. Lift them up. Woohoo. Okay, coming down. Now we're going to plate with a dynamic, uh, whatever. <laughs> I, sorry, I like to sign. I like to nerd out on the science, okay? So we're going to be here. I'm going to be in quadruped. I'm going to plate. I'm going to continue to plate while I bend my elbows, dropping down into what's called sphinx. Okay, a lot of times in sphinx, what happens to people? They bow their head. Don't bow your head. Keep your chest up. Keep plating. Coming up. So I want to feel like my hands are stuck to the mat. I'm coming down. I'm coming up. I'm coming down. I'm coming up. I'm coming down. If you're more advanced, you can do single arm sphinx and check your plate. Coach, why do you keep losing your plate in your left arm? Huh? Maybe that's why you get AC joint pain, huh? Ah, okay, other arm. If you can't do single arm, okay. Everyone keep going with your Sphinx push-ups. You can do these on the wall. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, relax. <laughs> All right, you guys are going to love me for this one, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to bring our hands forward, right? And we're going to drop our hips. This is called lizard, okay? This is a crappy lizard position, right? Because my stomach is dropped and my ribs are flared or around it. So I'm going to tuck my stomach. I'm going to lift my rib cage. Pretty straight. A little bit. I can see myself in the mirror. Okay, hold. Ah, okay, nice position. Plate! Plate! You see how I'm plating? Plate. Now, from here, come down onto your forearms into assisted plank. So this is how most people do plank. They just hang out. No, what we're going to do plank? We're going to plate our shoulders. You see that? This is the key to never having shoulder pain in plank. Is I'm here, and I'm plating. And I'm holding. And I'm breathing. My stomach is tight. Hold, hold, hold. You guys are getting tired. I know. It's okay. Plate. Plate. Now, while you're plating, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Drop down. Oh. Whew. Okay. Now, from here, you're like, how many? Whoa, trust me. This, this party keeps going for a while. We're going to, don't worry, I'm not going to do all of them today. So, from here, I got my hands down. This is called prone. Watch this. Plate. <laughs> plate. Pull your shoulder. I know. I'm so annoying. Okay. Plate. Hold. I'm just persistent. Hold here. Like while I plate, I'm going to elevate my chest into cobra. Now I have a very flexible spine. Don't expect it to be like this. You could be like here. I'm continuously plating. Plate, 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 plate. Walk it up. Go ahead and stand up. Okay. So good. 
plating. We're not done yet. <laughs> you already probably got a good workout. Uh, there is one more in this series next week while we're going to learn more about plating. You're like, geez, how much can you do? You can do a lot with plating, okay? So what we're going to do is go ahead, grab your weights, perfect form. This, isn't, this is the grand finale of today's workout. Well, we got two grand finales. First is I'm going to come into this overhead position, okay? So my hands are facing forward, and I want you to plate. You feel that? Plate, plate, plate. Okay? Now, while I'm plating, look what I can do. I can lift my hands up and down. This is like a little, it's technically an overhead pulse, right? But I want to focus on the back of my arms. Okay? Good. You're like, coach, I don't feel anything. It's because you're doing this. It's because you're doing this, right? Keep the back of the arms. Boom. Ooh, you'll feel your triceps. You'll feel the shoulders. Such a better one. Okay? Now, drop to one. Wait. Do your right arm. Weight's in the right arm. Boom, come up, little cactus, plate. You should feel that muscle working, okay? While it overhead, keep that muscle tight. While it's overhead, keep that muscle tight. While it's overhead. <laughs> now, if you're more advanced, continue the shoulder press, right? If you're more advanced, continue the shoulder press. Good. I'm over here, my freaking blood pressure is through the roof because I'm flexing so hard all the time. Keep plating and release, good. <gasps> Ah, exercise. Switching arms. Okay. Cactus, or maybe half cactus. Plate. Plate, plate, plate. Hold and elevate. Now, you'll probably notice you might have an easier side plating. You might have a side that you plate easier. Okay, grammar's failing. Here we go. Back to the X. Plate, plate, plate. <laughs> I know, right? Keep it going. Let's go, folks. You got it. You got it. Keep going. Plate, plate, plate. Plate, plate, plate. Plate and release. Good. At this point, your arm should be tired. But we're not done yet. Grab both weights. Okay? Come into cactus with the weights. Plate. Okay? Gently bend your knees. Keep plating. Go as high as you can. We're only going to do three reps. Go as high as you can. I think today might be my day to go all the way up. Nice. Okay? Coming down. Do I plate on the way down? <laughs> I'm pretty sure by now you could have guessed. Okay, here we go. Plate, 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 lifting, plating. I'm plating, I'm plating, 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 all the way. Oh, I made it. Okay, down, down, down. Here we go, folks. Last set, best set. Breathe in, inhale, <gasps> plate. <laughs> you realize that lifting weights slower might actually be harder? <laughs> right, Glenn. Okay, coming down. Perfect form, coming down. Okay, as promised, hands out. Tiger paw. This is tiger paw. Hands out. Now, plate. Oh, it's so much easier to do my plating now. It's called muscle activation, okay? <sighs> Relax. Keep those plates going. A little bit of circles. Your shoulders should be on fire. Okay, 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 okay. And relax. I have rehabbed multiple people's shoulders because they work out and they don't plate. And they shoulder press, push up, all this stuff. They don't keep this muscle tight. Shoulder joint, game over. Trust me, you don't want to hurt your shoulder. Okay, good. Shake it out. Okay, that was a lot of work in our brain. So let's go ahead, cool everything down. Breathing technique. Okay. Uh, last week, we were working with a circle. This week, I'm going to... I'm going to give you guys... This is, this is actually called... Well, I'm not going to give you the name. <laughs> it's a little too spiritual for our non-denominational, non-secular workout. Okay? So I'm in straddle. Okay? I'm in low circle here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shift my hips back like a squat. I'm going to breathe in, inhale, here. I'm going to scoop, inhale, inhale. I'm going to get right to the top of my head, and I'm going to exhale. And everything is super soft, okay? So here, just relaxing, inhale, scooping, and exhale. Just relax. Everything should be super relaxed. You're just going deeper into relaxation. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Now don't bend your knees as much. Just a little scoop. Inhale. And exhale. Now don't go as high up. Breathe in. Inhale. And exhale. Now don't bend your knees at all. Scoop. Inhale. And exhale. 
Good, and just pause at low circle for a second. Close your eyes, in through the nose, big breath. Hold for five seconds, hold. Exhale. Everything relax. Good, walk your feet in. Let's do our closing breaths right here. Breathe in, inhale. And exhale, good, inhale. And exhale, good, inhale. And exhale, dive to the pool, chance to reflect. If you're building off last week, this was probably a great workout. If you just jumped in your first time, it was probably also a great workout. Might have been a little confusing. Hands underneath, looking down. Give yourself some gratitude to be able to work out. There are people that don't have arms. I know it's a bit dramatic, but there's people that have shoulder problems. A lot of people. Not us, because we're going to keep working on them, okay? So breathe in. Exhale, roll up super slow, super slow, super slow, super slow. Posture up. Let everything reset. And give yourself a round of applause. Nice job. <laughs> Excellent work today. You guys are done. Workout complete. So what we're going to do next week, same time, same place, Thursday, we're going to build on this one more week what well, do you guess we call it advanced? This could be the plating workshop. If you want to find the rest of the workouts, you'll be fitforever.com. They're all up there right now. Just click on free classes. So we're going to do next Thursday. And then the following Thursday is Thanksgiving. So we're prop. I think we're going to do, well, let me rephrase that. We're going to do Monday. I'm training everybody on Monday because I'm going to be gone that week. So we're going to be doing Monday. I'll send out the reminder so you guys um, get your workout on for the week. We don't miss weeks, okay? So. That's going to be awesome. We're going to do next week. Let me just finish. But next week, we're going to do finish the plating. And then on Monday, we'll do sort of a special, more fun workout for you guys. Just got to mix it up, OK? So if you ever have questions, feel free. You can uh, message me on Facebook, Instagram. Some of you have my email. You can always email me. There's also a contact page at you'llbefitforever.com. OK, so get out there. Ah, stay plated. Work on your posture and continue to work out. All right? So with that, I'm Coach Russo. This is You'll Be Fit Forever, and I'll see you next time. Peace.